now this is traditionally where I, I, I wander on going, yes, excellent, I've made it. And then I stop and I hear a little voice behind me saying, you have something of mine. Really? I would make a lot better ghost than you, Ed. Okay, right, I... Are you about to pee in what is essentially my front door certificate? Who of you? One of these days, one of these days, I swear, I... Yeah, I would almost certainly not get away with that, would I? Fine. Let's keep our distance. Okay. Try to look casual, try to look casual. Just walking into a kinky club wearing leather straps. It's the sort of thing that happens all the time. Okay. I love the fact that nobody seems to freak out. Mind you, as I've already pointed out. If you're not freaking out at that, you're... I like your outfit. Right, um... Let's go and see... Okay, why can't I... Ah. Let's go and see Jeanette... No, not Jeanette. Therese! It's Therese we've got to see. Right. And... Uh, hi! I'm here to see your sister. Not hiding behind the... Okay. Uh, I was just looking for your sister. Uh, not even a knock? I could have been undressing. And who knows what I would have had to do to you. You're here to see Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria, aren't you? Yeah, uh, I'm sure as hell not here to see you. No, no, yes, I need to see Teresa. I brought this for Teresa. So I need to... Actually, I was hoping to run into you. No, I wasn't. I could, I could lie. I could lie. That would be nice. But uh, I, I actually really do need to see your sister, I think. Yes, I need to see Therese. Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her chastity belt or something? Wow. Um... Right. I'm sensing some tension between the two of you. Um, but... And, and I don't really want to get involved. I've had no experience with this, but I'm reliably told getting between two sisters is, uh, not a good idea. So, uh, just... Could you point me to Therese? So... Therese told me you might be back with something for her. Do you have it with you? Of course, here, take it. That's going to upset Therese, isn't it? Here's the thing. I would love to give you this and make you extremely happy. I just need Therese to um, stop trying to kill someone for me that I happen to need. So I'm afraid I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to give this to Therese. I could bring you something nice, though. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? She did, but, um, no, no, of course not. She was nothing but polite about you. Please calm down.
She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, it's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. Yeah, you know what? I, I feel for you. I do. I feel for you. Uh, you're driving me. I understand, but I still can't. And I do. I totally and completely understand. But I also feel like you're perhaps playing me. Yes. I mean, I get you. She looks down on you. She probably insults you. You think she's better than you. I've known people like that. But as I said, I kind of need her to, uh, you know, do something for me. So I'm afraid I, I can't really give you this. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you? No, I'm afraid I can only imagine that for one. Um. Uh. Yeah, you're really going to lay this on, aren't you? You're going to keep laying this on. Are you going to switch on the charm at some point? You, 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 but I'm, look, I'm sorry. I really am. Totally feel you. Well, uh, I mean, you know what I mean. But um, I really do need Teresa's help. I've got to give her this, I think. Fine, you hold on to it. Hmm, since you're so willing to brave that big spooky place for my darling sister, how about doing a teensy tiny favor for a little troubled me? I'd be overjoyed. Yes, absolutely love to. Uh, cut the school girl actually just tell me what the hell it is. No, forget it. I'm sick of running errands for you bitches. I'm out of here. Would that put a smile on your face? What would put a smile on that face? Yes. Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. Oh, I need to talk to Tongue. This isn't help. No, no, no. I can help the lady out. Yes, what do you need doing? <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. I'll sl fine, I'll be right when it's finished. I'm not going to steal ch slashing paintings. For I could do that. I'm not going to steal charity money. I can steal charity money. Uh, fine, I'll be back when it's finished. This time the feud... And the t right. Uh, oh, right. And once I've done this, if I do this, and, and I please your sister as well, you guys will call off the feud, yes? I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. Wait. Uh, if I don't... Get to see Tongue when I get back. I'm taking it out on both of you. Yeah, I, I have a feeling she's not going to be scared of little old me. Let's be nice. I'll be back soon. Goodbye. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? I can't remember. Oh, well, have fun, Declan. What do you mean? There's something about the paintings that you can't remember. Why do I feel that might be important? Because it's important. You know it's important. You haven't forgotten. You're kind of curious as to whether or not I'll figure it out myself. Yes? I kind of like her. Yes, I do. She's very manipulative. Kind of like the outfit as well, but uh, I, I believe that is uh, the idea. Fine. So, where, uh, where's Therese, though? I, I do have this thing for her. Uh, oh, somebody can see? Me. 
Okay, keep getting back into a bit of a corner here. Okay, stay out of sight. Uh, whoa. Okay, right. God, that's annoying. It's strange, I can strut around. Oh, God, do you know what? I am so going to remember you. Yes, I am. Yeah, it is strange. I can... I can run around the club and... Everyone assumes I'm just in fancy dress. I'm some kinky individual in leather. Run around the streets and everyone freaks out. Okay. Gallery Noir is... It's... Over there, right. Best way to get there is probably through the sewers, actually. Although, you know, I don't mind. Ooh, that was. I gotta say, I prob probably should make sure I don't. Really? How much are you actually drinking? Oh, come on. I need to go home. I mean, I don't mind crawling around with the rats, but I have to avoid puddles of pee. And yes, I realise it's a sewer. I'm probably wading around in it. But it's watered down and... Ooh. Okay, you know what? They'll just see me very briefly as I slink down into the sewer. I really do hate that man. Rats. Okay, let's just get a bit of a top up. Uh, that's Gallery Noir, which means the nearest exits are E and D. E is near to Gimbal's Prosthetics, which is down those stairs. D is actually in the parking garage. I don't believe anyone ever goes in there. I've never seen anyone in there. That's probably the best thing. Then I can sneak out here and go round the corner. There was a back way in. I noticed that... Okay, I don't need a snack. Right, D is down here. Yes, there we go. So, watch this be the only time somebody's actually in the parking garage. Nope. Okay. I... Yeah, right, that's... Yes! There is... A... Oh. Oh, can I... Can I break... You are not strong enough to move... Really? Wait. Um. I was... Right, I was thinking of taking more melee for three. But strength, which costs four, would give melee and unarmed. And unarmed means I can feed better and perhaps... Perhaps means I can break things? That would be nice. Yes! I am now super strong. I mean, I could probably have snuck around there without any problem, but you know what? I'm stronger, and I'm now better at feeding and fighting. I'm going to consider this a win. Right. Is... What am I stuck... Oh, stuck on the bars. Super strong can rip them apart, but kind of get stuck on them a little when I'm walking. Okay. Is this going to be one of those... No. Nope. This is... 
Well, that was easy. In fact, that was... Okay, is anybody here? No, not by the looks of things. We've got four paintings. And the front door, which I don't think I need. Cash box. Right, excellent. That's one thing done. I now have the cash. $250. Is she going to want this? She probably wants this. Oh! Oh, I do feel naughty. I'm a terrible person. It's true. Right, now. She wants me to... Cain slays Abel. Cain meets Lilith. Cain cursed by God. Cain spurns Lilith. She wants me to slash these, but she's not remembering something. Is this something going to be... Right. Do I have to hit these in a certain... Order. Cain meets Lilith. Cain slays Abel. Cain spurns Lilith. Cain cursed by God. Wait a minute. Cain and Abel. Right. That's the Bible. But Lilith isn't. No, she's sort of like the origins of vampirism, isn't she? I can't quite remember. Oh, did uh, did Cain meet Lilith and they uh, they got uh, a little you know friendly and then she convinced him to kill Abel. Abel was then cursed by God because of course he would be and then and then Cain said, "No, this is way too kinky for me. I'm off," and then stabbed her. Or did he feed on it? Was was Cain the vampire? Okay. So I just I just slash. Okay. Ah. Uh, does that count as a slash? Does that? No. Do I have to use my claws? Okay, is it perhaps a... Really, how do I slash it then? I'm slashing it with swords, I'm slashing it with axes. She gave me a dagger. Maybe it's special. Ooh. Bo- Botch? What are you- Okay. Okay, it's got to be with a dagger, but... Ah, I was probably right about the order. Okay then, so Cain meeting Lilith was not the first thing. Then it has to be Cain slays Abel. Okay, that didn't... Okay, well, he can't spurn Lilith till he meets her, but... Oh, Cain is cursed by God, and his curse is Lilith, because she's annoying and nags a lot. And after only a little while in her company, he gets fed up of her and says, No, I've had enough of you. You're nagging all the time. Just go away. Okay. 
Okay, what the hell is that? Is this what she was conveniently not remembering? Okay, 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 um, it, what the hell are you, and, oh god, you know what, forget what the hell you are, can I, oh god, I've tried blocking, and that did not, so just try hitting him, oh my god, I'm actually, I'm actually going to die here, that's not acceptable, oh god, okay, trying to block, not, not, oh, actually, it's not, not too, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, if I blood heal, okay, that's, come on then, come on then. What are you, what the hell are you? I mean, you're very shiny and everything. Come on. Okay, blocking's not really, okay, you know, okay, but. If I don't block, he just keeps hitting me, which is really annoying. Oh, I think I'm, oh, you know what, can I? Oh, we can! Uh, wait, what? What? Look, friends? I'm frenzying? I'm frenzying! I'm frenzying! That's not good! Actually, maybe it was good. Okay! See? Don't mess with me, you. What was that? Oh, I think that was. Yeah, don't mess with me, you horrible sack of blood. Or I should get irritable. Can I? Oh, I don't have any. Oh, I don't have any blood. I don't have any blood to blood heal with. I'm. Oh. Oh, is that why I frenzied? I got low on blood? I got low on blood. Is that not a good idea? That's probably not a good idea. I need to get a top up. I need to get a top up. But I, I slashed the paintings. And I took the money. All is well. Yes. I think. Let's. Oh, I do have a blood pack on me, but I'm sort of saving that for a rainy day because, well, there are lots of mobile blood packs. Or at least there usually are lots of mobile blood packs. But I think I see one. Two! I see two! Excellent! I like buses. When you need one, two will appear. But luckily for me, I need two! Or... Oh god, I, mi I missed a rat, really. Little humiliating, he says, eating rats. Well, I've... Okay, can I do this without obfuscate? Just sort of, like, act casual, walk bold. Stroll straight into the club like I belong. Yes, I can. Okay. I've learned two valuable lessons, really. One, I shouldn't let myself get hungry. I'm one of those people that doesn't do peckish particularly well, so I need to keep the blood levels up. And two, the kindred that set up that little art soiree was someone who was capable of powerful magic, which means I've probably just made myself a new enemy. Which means, actually, I've learned three things. I've learned I should really pay more attention to uh, the tasks I'm being given and weigh them up. I've read that, yes. Yes, I believe I have. Uh, oh. You. What were you thinking? Okay. You're the art... Oh, you, it's you, isn't it? You were setting up the art soiree, yes? The museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Okay, of course. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, if you could just wait a second. Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture. But nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others. But how dare you? Excuse me. I didn't do it, I swear. 
Well, I did. Well, I did. I mean, I did it. I definitely did it. I did it. Why? I... I didn't... Apparently, I get the urge to lie to you, and I don't know why. I didn't do it, I swear. Don't lie to me! Jeanette already confessed she I didn't tricked you into doing want it. to lie to you. It was probably all Tung's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. Okay, uh, oh. Charming. I swear I didn't do it. I even brought the item from Ocean House and a diary from there. Yes, could you stop scowling like that? I did not do it. She's lying. Yes, she's lying. Do you believe your sister over me? Excellent. I'll take that. However, Jeanette claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. Yeah. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. Oh, uh, yes. That would be good. There's only one problem. If Tung gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. I need to convince Jeanette to forgive you. Right. Okay, uh, and how exactly do I do that? For Santa Monica's most powerful kindred, I'd be happy to. Forget it. I've... No, I want to go I want to go with how. I've learned my lesson. I'd like a few more details first. I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner to reconcile, but I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. Okay, why don't I just kill the crew? No, 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 no. I'm not, or at least I didn't want to get between Sisters, I'll go and then the feud is off, yes? I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. Okay, fine. I'll do it. <sighs> should have known. I should have absolutely known. So I've now got to go to the diner and explain to Jin... Why would they meet at the diner? I mean, why why would they meet at the diner? They're Don't they both live here? Something is not quite right. No, it's not. Okay, it's straight across from here. Okay, um, ah, how do I get into the diner without uh, getting close to people? The old-fashioned way, I guess. Probably, uh, I need to make sure I'm out of sight of everyone. And then... Aren't the people in the diner going to freak out? I mean, going into a nightclub is one thing. A diner? That's kind of a whole different thing, really, isn't it? I mean... Okay, well, I said I'd do it. I suppose even fetish-loving partygoers need to eat. In fact, you'd probably expect them to get the munchies quite often. Do these seem like the sort of people who would freak out? I am getting the feeling of a masquerade violation for some... I'm also getting the feeling that things are not quite as they should be. I'm not seeing Jeanette and that is uh, Okay! 
Where am I? Right, it is. It's a setup. It's a setup. Okay, you. Oh my god. You. Blood, blood. Oh, oh god, I'm getting low. Okay. So it was a setup, and. Right. Oh. Uh. Right, this is jet. No, okay. Um. Ooh. Shotgun. Ithaca M37. Did you not see that, or did you not care? Or is it more of a... Lots of shooting happened. I'm not dead. I saw nothing. I'm looking this way. Cooking. Good man. Good man. Maybe he... The thing is, I'm still getting a feeling of masquerade violation. No, I'm not. Not anymore. Okay. Hello? about your refusal to take part in her design. So she sent those men to kill you. So I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Stop by. We'll take care of this now. <laughs> She's crazy! Help! Right. So Jeanette, no, Therese is trying to suggest her sister set me up because I didn't do the job for her. Which would make sense, except for the fact that I've actually done the job for her, so... Um... Yeah... Hello... No, I'm definitely getting masquerade, but... Sorry about the mess! Um... Hope the rest of the night goes better for you. Okay, right, you know what? So, I have a feeling Therese did not believe me, or did believe me, and decided, what the hell, let's get rid of him anyway. Right. Let's just go and, um, yeah. Walk into the lion's den? I suppose is the uh, best way of thinking about it. The lioness's den. It did sound like Jeanette. W yeah, it did sound like Jeanette was also in trouble. Right. <sighs> so. Charming or um, <clears throat> homicidal, I, I guess, is the, uh... It's just, uh... Weapons not allowed. Oh. Oh. Okay, I can do charming. I can do charming. <clears throat> I can do charming. Charming it is. Here goes. Charming. Ah! Okay. You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seem promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now I'm going to make sure she never double crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear. Shut up, Jeanette. I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Do you need me for this? Because I could just go downstairs, grab a drink, come back when it's all over. I'd like that. I'm going to ask what's going on now. It's going to involve you being utterly crazy, isn't it? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she's still... 
fornicates with kind, no less. So despicable. So unclean. You're one to talk, dear okay. sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence or you're dead. Right. Um... Yeah. Uh, do go on, Jeanette. Had his way with you. And he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter until... Shut up. Just shut up! Okay, um... Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm thinking I'd like to hear more of this, yes? Would you like to tell the story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night, pious as a nun, stable as the Earth's orbit. But it's all an act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing uh. but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't Excuse for me. me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Well, when you say she's the wicked one, you... Just tried to have me killed. Is that true, Jeanette? Sounds like she's got a point. That doesn't give you the right to tell... To, that doesn't give you the right to tell her what to do. It's the same person! This is the same person that doesn't give you the right to tell her what to do. It's the same person. Surely, I just... Does she have a point? Does she have a point, Jeanette? Did she help you in moments of darkness? She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. Yeah, I've noticed You'll rub that. up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Okay, if it wasn't for Jeanette, I'd be on my way... Hey, if it wasn't for Jeanette, I'd be on my way to Tongue right now. I don't necessarily think that is true, seeing as you did try to have me killed. Yes, you tried to have me killed. Therese? Therese will never let you live. You disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. Wait, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, back that one up a little bit. She brought men home, so she was a terrible daughter. You, on the other hand, were... Yeah, uh, what happened to your father, uh, Jeanette? Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's and lying. Because Therese you're the same walked person. in while he was there, and she saw me lying with him, and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot, and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. Okay, that way, woo, way too, too... Uh, much information. Uh, no, definitely way too much information here. Can we all just agree that it was good that Daddy got dead? No, I don't believe you, Jeanette. I sort of do. I can't believe you killed your own father, Therese. I can. I, d I do believe Jeanette. And I can believe that she th Therese killed her own father. Gee. Eh. Uh, yeah. I can do that. She, I can believe that. She tried to kill me. And who wants to kill me? I'm adorable. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. No, no, no. How did they Don't break... Another word about how that. did they break you so, up? Oh, sweet sister. Is this how it has to end? You're the same person! I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? 
An apology. A love letter. Grab the gun, Jeanette. Finish her off, Therese. Give me the gun. Eh. Okay, um... I'm, I'm gonna guess give me the gun. Probably not really good. I'm then like 50-50 that one of you doesn't shoot me, yeah? Uh... Yeah, I'm guessing 50-50 one of you tries to shoot me. And I think that one's going to be Therese. So I tell you what... Yeah, grab the gun, Jeanette. Okay, but don't shoot yourself, because it's still only one of you. Just just grab the gun, and then... I killed her. I didn't want her to go. I only wanted her to change. You understand, don't you? Poor, poor Therese. You wanted to find Bertram. Okay. He's at the old gas station in an empty oil tank. He'll help you, because I'll ask him to. But you must keep your tongue tied tight about what happened this night. Understand? <laughs> Oh yeah, totally, totally. Never ever gonna talk about this ever ever again. Honest, I mean seriously, no, absolutely. I don't even wanna think about this again. Well, not all of it. Certain parts of it were a little interesting. But we, we can file that uh, uh, under talk about it later, yeah? So, yeah, bye. Don't hesitate to come see me once in a while. I'm going to be so lonely without Therese. I mean, I may need someone like you sometime, and I do get bored so easily. Maybe you could come by and cheer me up sometime. Oh, yes. I'll think about it. You kind of scare me. Oh, you kind of scare me. I will be coming back. Yes, I will. Definitely. Although by then I'm hoping you've, um, lost the gun. It, it's definitely not your look. And the old outfit... Okay, you know what? I'm getting out of here before she changes her mind and just starts shooting me as well.